feel like transfer portal is a word that, or a phrase that people hear all the time. Transfer right portal is a big deal in college football. We now. have to talk about the transfer portal. There's a lot of familiar faces that will be in new places next season. Some shocking headlines. Like we saw the first window just be anarchy, portal combat. If you don't follow the sport closely, you may not fully understand what it means. This is essentially a form of free agency that has come to college football. NBA free agency times 50. It's going to get worse before it gets better. There's no question about that. What, what's going to happen here? Like, what is it going to look like? Oh, it's crazy. The portal give it, but it take it. I think it's a good thing. Lois headed to the Big Ten. The transfer portal is not as fun as you think it is. You got to be careful. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. I had to work real hard to get here, but I'm happy to be, you know, at my dream school, man. It's a phenomenal feeling. Seeing that M everywhere you go, seeing that M, man. There's a million reasons why people enter the portal, but it's usually based on an individual decision that affects them. Welcome to Terpsville. When you get a lot of offers in the transfer portal and a lot of people want you, it gets crazy, you know what I'm saying? You have to turn down some offers, you know, from schools that you know you're not gonna go to. Continuous calls and messages. A lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages. What's up, champ? You know, it's like recruiting all over again. Rats, man, we really pumped up about it. When you're a transfer, you know, you've already been through the process, you know what to expect. And, um, you know, it's different things you're looking for. The transfer portal is an NCAA database by which uh, college athletes who want to transfer to a new school can essentially announce that they're free agents by entering their name into the portal. And so it allows players freedom of movement uh, when they're ready to move on and also allows college coaches to know who's available uh, from other schools. So it's become a, a major aspect of college sports recruiting. I feel like a lot of kids, a lot of people get in the portal and you know, they stop working. They just, you know, waiting for handouts. When I hopped in the portal, my first time ever hopping in the portal, I didn't have a scholarship offer. I had to go outside and I was, you know, doing one-on-ones with a variety of different people. I was running up hills. I was, you know, posting content on all of my social media. And I was blessed and fortunate enough a coach recognized, you know, my hard work. And uh, he seen how bad I wanted it. He gave me opportunity and then it took off for there. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good, living better, baby. You know what I mean? I think the portal's good. I think, you know, we've entered the athlete empowerment era where when you combine it with NIL and players receiving money to transfer and things like that, it gets a little sketchy at times. But overall, uh, I think it's good for the athletes to have that freedom. And you have to look at Talia Tungavailoa first, right? He's, you know, the most prolific quarterback in the program's history. Old school records for touchdowns, for yards, he's made for this moment. There's been nothing more essential in Maryland's turnaround recently than adding Tunga Vailoa. What's a bunch getting greedy! He's got it! So that, that's exhibit A right there, you know, the most the key facet of their program right now came from the portal. You cannot allow him to get outside the pocket because he will beat you. I think the transfer portal is actually a very good thing. Uh, you can use it to fill spots in your roster. Obviously, like corner, we needed it. And uh, we got Shep in from Cincinnati. Jaquan is one of those guys that was a three-year starter at Cincinnati. He's in the same mold with the length of a guy like a Deontay Banks, who we had drafted in the first round. Interception game. made by Maryland, Deontay Banks. The New York Giants select Deontay Banks, defensive back, Maryland. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to help us fill that void that we need. And then we got Avante from Miami, so that's another good guy that we can use. He provides us with a, a veteran player that uh, Again, had a ton of accolades coming out. He needed a change of scenery. He's a guy that can play in a box. He can play the deep third of the field. And, you know, really excited about the, the, the value that he's got. It's a lot of ballers up there. I ain't, ain't know there's a lot of ballers. You got to have our confidence coming from a different program, coming to a new program. And, you know, you got to bring some juice with you. And I think pretty much everybody brought some juice. If you look at the way we've attacked the portal, I kind of like guys that are coming up. 
I like those guys that want to prove that they can play at this level. And with some of the guys we've taken out of the portal, whether it's Donnell Brown as a pass rusher out of St. Francis, Corey Bullock, North Carolina Central, Gadi Yeze, we feel like we've been able to meet the needs and, and add some bodies there that have experience. Over the course of the spring, we were able to see uh, a lot of flashes as far as everything that we're we doing when it comes to a game plan situation. So um, I feel as though we're getting very comfortable with each other. I mean, we gel automatically, so it's no problem there. But, you know, just trying to get the play, get that chemistry with one another, it's, it's a challenge, but it's one that I think we can handle. I think I adapted pretty well. Um, just everybody's accent what threw me off. <laughs> Other than that, I pretty much can adapt wherever I go. You know, I'm a football player. That's easy. Uh, getting around the guys. I know a lot of the, a lot of my teammates, and uh, even the people I didn't know. They're very welcoming. I feel like I've been here all my life. I feel like I've been here for for five years, six years. I feel like I've been here forever, man. Come on, coach. I'm like, up. We gotta do. I gotta sauce this up real quick. <laughs> He's got me a new addiction, y'all. Oh my God. Addicted to extra work. Big time, big time checking out, man. Had a solid day of practice, you know what I mean? With my guys, man. These are all my guys right here. The freak. Oh, what do you ready to do? What do you ready to do? I got one behind him. I got one behind him. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh I gotta do one more, I gotta do one more! Oh! Just look at it, man. It's home. It's home, man. It's my dream school since I was a kid. There's, there's no better place to do it. You have a different chip on your shoulder when you're playing for your city. Coach Locks didn't have to really sell me on too much. Uh, when he first got here and he was recruiting me, you know, he was telling me that, you know, I'm not going to make a flip within one season, but as time goes on, we will get better. And, you know, he's met everything he said. He showed me everything he said. So he really didn't have to sell me on too much. I've seen it myself. I'm a firm believer, again, that I, I want to know what I'm getting. And the only way you do that is if you had the opportunity to maybe recruit the kid on the front end. And Caden was one of those guys. And, and, and again, his skill set comes in. You lose a player like a, a, a Dante Demas. And, and to add a Caden Prather, similar skill set, I'm excited about um, what he can bring to the table for us. Being at home, period, it's a different, it's a different feel. You know, you never know how much you love home until you leave home. So. I got that Maryland feeling back again. It's just a different feeling playing in front of your, your, your fans, your, your hometown, your parents. Your, you know, people that probably kept, kept up with you since you was a kid, man. It's, it's a beautiful feeling to be able to know that I'm at my dream school. It give me all the confidence in the world to go out there and perform my best every week. Hey, there's big money in this NIL stuff, right? Big money. There's millions of dollars being floated out here. He's a billionaire. <laughs> nah. I want to pay you because you're a good person. I think the TBIA Foundation is really unique, you know, giving us the opportunity to go in the community and earn our money. It was encouraging to see that, that young people would want to do better, want better for themselves.